This is Kingston Black, which is very often regarded as the most highly valued of all cider apples. Um, for those of you who don't know uh, cider, uh, hard cider, as the Americans call it, is a, a drink made from sort of a weak one often finds. They do a lot of harm. I mean, they even do some good by catching pests. <sighs> well, I don't want it in the cider particularly. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, King's, uh, <laughs> yeah. cider is a, a drink made from apple juice, fermented, so with all the sugar turned to alcohol. And um, you can make cider from any apple, but whether you can make good cider from any apple is very much another question. Um, it's a really big question, much too big for this video. But Kingston Black is a bitter sharp, uh, and it's said to be balanced between uh, sugar, um, acid and tannin. Uh, now every um, every apple contains sugar and acid. Uh, only really uh, uh, cider apples contain tannins, amongst the other. Um, I need a little bag here. Look at my ages ago. Uh, tannins, one of the flavour compounds in um, an apple. But you don't get it in all apples. You get it in russets to some extent. Uh, if you imagine what the taste of cold tea, cold black tea is like. I should have my, I should have got my um, GoPro head cam today, but I haven't got it with me. There we go, that's handy, isn't it? These are Kingston Blacks, and this is a section of the orchard which is um, devoted to Kingston Black. This is a tree I got really angry with the very bad shape of it and cut it right down to the ground about five years ago, <laughs> it came back and it's actually the best cropper we've got of our uh, Kingstons. They, they're not a very good cropper. Some years you don't get anything at all, I and mean, other years you get you know, this sort of crop, or uh, this sort of crop, or this sort of crop. It's a bit pathetic, isn't it? I mean, a lot of people say that Kingston Black has got the perfect balance of sugar, acid, tannin and other flavour compounds uh, so that it will um, really make a very good cider without blending with any other varieties. This claim is made repeatedly throughout the cider literature. I am not convinced and uh, a few people I know who, who are more into um, the cider than I am uh, are similarly not really convinced either. Um, but even if it was that good, I mean, look, uh, this is a variety called Labret. It's a sweet uh, variety. You wouldn't want to make cider from this without blending it with anything else. But look, there's more, there's more fruit on this one tree than there is on all 16 of my Kingston Blacks put together. And, uh, and the same is true for this Yarlington Mill. I mean, honestly, look. Um, so when, if you're thinking about planting some West Country style cider apples, as I said, you can make cider from any uh, apple. You probably do need to blend a number of different apples to get good cider. And uh, in my opinion, you certainly want a decent proportion, ideally at least 50% of West Country style cider apples uh, in order to get a really first class cider. Having said that, this is subject to opinions so and not everyone will feel the same way. But this is Yarlington Mill and it'll give you a crop like this seven years out of ten. I'm not saying it doesn't occasionally miss a year. It does occasionally miss a year. Even uh, Dabinet, which is said to be the most reliable cropping cider apple. This is Dabinet this year and it hasn't got anything on it at all, which is a pity. Um, although it's still a high recommend. Uh, I would say if you're going to plant uh, some West Country cider apples, uh, you would uh, do very well to plant um, 
Uh, so that's Yarlington Mill I've just shown you with a massive crop. This is Harry Masters Jersey, which is similar to it's similar to um, Harry, it's similar to Dabinet. Maybe a seedling of Dabinet. I'm not sure. Harry Masters Jersey is a very fine cider apple, uh, which crops much more reliably than Kingston Black. And this is Le Brat, uh, which is a sweet apple. Uh, I don't think you'll make very good cider from Le Brat on its own, but in a blend, the finest cider I ever made, well, the most popular cider I ever made, its popularity was short-lived because it was all drunk within hours. I only made five gallons of it, but, you know, half and beer drinkers were just going back for a second and third glass. I remember that evening, the marvellous quote came from a dear friend who shall be nameless, who, returning to the, uh, uh, the room, said, My urine smells of apples. Which it will do, actually, after you've been drinking good quality cider. Um, but, yeah, sorry. This is Le Brat, and... Um, uh, there's a funny story about this. It was there was a mistake made in um, uh, a West Country cider apple nursery some years ago, and uh, this variety was confused with another one called Sweet Alford. And in fact, we never ordered Le Brat, We ordered Sweet Alford because the apples are very similar in their season, in their appearance, and in their uh, flavour qualities. The mistake wasn't made until a very large number of people who thought they were planting Sweet Alford had in fact planted Le Brat. But it's, you know, it's a bit like ordering one fine wine and getting a slightly different fine wine, which is still, you know, really worth drinking. Um, and uh, yeah, Le Brett's a great apple uh, in the blend. And I'm going to attempt to recreate that wonderful cider this year um, by making a, a special blend of, um, uh, of cider apples, which will be about 40% Le Brett and 60%. Uh, made up of um, uh, Kingston Black, Yarlington Mill, Harry Masters Jersey and Dabinet. Pure 100% West Country cider apples. There won't be much of that and I'm sorry, whoever you are, or almost whoever you are, you won't get any. Sorry, there won't be enough to go round. Um, anyway, the cider apples, most of them actually haven't cropped very well this year. Uh, you know, it's in a tough year, you know where you know who your friends are, as it were. And this year, Le Brat, Yarlington Mill and... Um, uh, Harry Masters Jersey have been the ones which have done well. Uh, we haven't got very many. Um, uh, Kingston Black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all the Kingston Black and then I'm going to design a blend based on having all of them and an appropriate proportion of other stuff. And all things being well in uh, the spring of um, 2014, should that time arrive and find me still alive and well, I will uh, have some idea what it will taste like. Uh, next year's cider crop should be better than this year's, uh, we hope.